understand fact finding is like um, doing your research on the company? Close. You could say that. Um, what's the first thing that happens when you go to a doctor's office? Uh, you get diagnosed. What, you, you walk in, they don't just diagnose you, though. What do they oh, say? Right. They, they take your history. Okay. And then what? And then they check your vitals. Okay. And then? And then they, uh, I don't know, you meet the doctor. Okay. And what does the doctor say to you? He asks you what's been going on. Dude, first thing you do after the vitals, hey, what brings you in here today? Okay. What brings you in here today, right? Okay. And the reason why they do that is because they want to find out what the problem is. Yeah. Okay. Why would anybody do business with you? Do you know why anybody would do business with you? Do business with me? Yeah. Because I'm going to get them results? They, because you're going to solve a problem. Exactly. The reason yeah. why you're doing business with me is because you want to take your agency to the next. It's not because of my good looks. It's because... <laughs> you want to solve that problem. The reason right. why people hire you because they want more customers, you solve that problem. Right. So if I don't fact find, how do I know the problem? If the doctor doesn't fact find, how does the doctor actually know your problem? This would be equivalent to the doctor coming in. And he's like, here you go, man. Here's some penicillin. They're like, no, dude. I, ca I came in because I'm having trouble seeing at night. I wanted to refer oh, to an optometrist. Nice analogy. Okay, so you, you want to fact find like a doctor. Right. Fun. So step number two is fact finding. I'm writing this down. So fact finding. Um, let me see. Damn it. Fact finding. Oh, God, there's no... You're not, I think it's in the cold call boot camp. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll have to get you a video on fact finding. Fact finding. Hey, so how are you getting leads right now? How many customers do you have? What are you doing for marketing? Uh, how those, much are you we should be asking them or are we doing the research on our own? No, you're, you're asking them. Okay. You're asking, okay. hey, so who, who's your customer? Who's your audience? You know, how are you getting people in the door right now? What's the average customer worth for you? What's the biggest revenue you've had during a, a month? What's your opportunity? What's your goal? Oh man, we, just, we have a delicious food. The recipe is really good. But the only problem is we just don't have customers. Okay, cool. If I can show you how to get customers, would you be open to sign up with me? I would. So you just solve the problem. So introduction, number two is fact finding. Number three is the presentation. Most people call that the demo. Okay. Okay. Hey, I don't, I don't like to call it demo. I like to call it a presentation. Because the demo's like this. Hey, man, buy this pen. Buy this pen. You know, it's super nice. Buy this pen. A presentation's right. like, dude, look at this pen, man. It's like a fucking, like, like, it's like, you see it? Look how, look how cool it is, man. You know, there's like some showmanship. You're presenting. You're like on a stage. Okay? The present is showing the product. Hey, listen, what do you know about Facebook ads? I don't know anything. Did you know for like 10 bucks a day, you can reach over a thousand people in your zip code. That's equivalent to hiring a salesperson, a rep walking around your restaurant, walking around your gym, handing out flyers and paying them 10 bucks a day. Okay. We could do that now with Facebook ads. We can do that. Let me show you how it works. So we use Facebook ads and then we use funnels. Let me show you the funnel and we give away like a voucher and we, sh you know, we, I show you exactly um, you know what the process is. I get a name, a phone number, an email. People submit their information. They redeem the voucher, and then they go to the. You prompt them to go to your restaurant, and you sign them up. If not, you call them as a manager and you invite them in. And the opportunity for you is to get ten to twenty of these every single day. So you get so, so so that that funnel that you have that you said you could download would that be applicable to a restaurant? Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, your your client tomorrow is a restaurant. Is that right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. So, this is the one you want to download right here. Voucher funnel. So, download that, dude. You, you haven't really messed with ClickFunnels too much, huh? I haven't, no. Okay. You, and didn't you tell me you do a little bit of a web development? Web design? I, 
I do websites and I do videos, so and I'm pretty familiar with all the Adobe suites. So. Okay, so you're technical. So the ClickFunnels is gonna it, download the voucher, change the background image, yeah. put their logo there, put their you know their stuff there to make it real, because if if you're already invested in them, you've already done work without them paying you. Any normal person should reciprocate and they should invest back. Does that make sense? Right. Like, right, yeah. already, you, hey, listen, this guy already did work without us even paying him. Fuck. You know, a, a good person's got to reciprocate and do, go back. Right. So don't just show them the template. Show them the damn funnel with your, um, with their logo on there. Watch, I'll show you real quick. Step one is what in the sales process? Step one is introduction. Perfect. Step two? So, uh, step two is fact finding. Okay. And, and give me a little bit about fact finding. Why do we fact finding? Fact finding is like uh, you ask uh, questions like, Hey, uh, what are your problems? Uh, how are you finding your audience? How are you getting customers through the door? Beautiful, beautiful. Third step is? The third step is the presentation. Okay, beautiful. Do you know what the fourth step is? I do not. Okay. So, here by Danielle. Okay, so um, the, th the third step is the test close. So look, this is the val this is the funnel that you have, right? With the click. Okay. Uh, what kind of restaurant is it? It's a barbecue restaurant. Okay. So you're gonna take away the chick with the hair, put something that pertains to barbecue, pull it off their website if you don't grab a stock photo, put their logo here, put their name, and put together fifty percent off. The fifty percent off, let them know that it doesn't matter. It could be fifty, it could be twenty five, could be ten. All we want to do is get people to opt in and to show up. Okay. So show them the process. You know, and then show them, you know, the, what, what happens, you, you know, show them that. So our, our opportunity is to get like 10, 20 people opting in, you know, to your, to your funnel and then they get on your email list and you can send out, you know, specials and blast and, you know, um, happy 4th of July and stuff like that and let them know why an email list is important. Okay. So the fourth step, my friend is a test closed. And a test close is, it's like you're dipping your toe in the water. How cold is it? Ooh, it's good. Let's jump in. Boom. Okay. It's like you're single dude. Do you have, you have a uh, girlfriend? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, you know, you're going out to, on a date. Let's say you're single. You're not. You are going out on a date and you are at dinner. You're having a good time. And you're like, man, I'm having a, such a good time. Like, you know, um, I don't know. Do you, you know, do you want to hang out after this? She's going to say one of two things. One could be, I don't know. What time is it? Eh, I got to work in the morning. Uh, but, you know, I'm definitely open to do something maybe like later in the week. Fail. You, you tested it. Cold. <laughs> oh, cold. Or, hey, you know, I'm having such a good time. Jessica, Amanda, you know, like. You know, I, I don't know if you're up for it, but would you be open to like hang out maybe after, you know what, Mike, that sounds, that sounds like a good idea for sure. So I'm testing it and all I'm trying to do is take her back to the crib and handle my biz, but yeah. you're, you're testing it. How does everything sound so far? Okay. The best way to do a test close is when you're, after you do the demo, after you show them the voucher, after you told them about the opportunity, it's. How does everything sound so far? Oh, everything sounds good. Perfect. You want that warm. You get it? Yeah. You want that, you know, I would be open to hang out. If you don't get that, dude, then you didn't do a good job in the presentation. If you don't get that. Okay? okay. As a general rule, what do you know about value and price? Value and price. So, not much. When price exceeds value, people buy. When price exceeds value, people buy. Okay? Price exceeds value, people buy. What does that mean? I, I, I'm thinking it should be the other way around, but... I'm sorry. My bad. You're 100% right. When value exceeds price, people buy. That's okay. what I mean. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> what does that mean? So that means like if, you, if you're given more value than... What, what you're actually charging, then they're going to opt in all the time. 100%. Yeah. 
So look, like for example, I walk out of my office and I say, hey man, I got a car for sale. It's $10,000, good condition. It's a 1989 Honda Civic. Do you want it? The guy's gonna be like, no, dude, you're crazy. I'm not buying your car for $10,000. I'm like, dude, it's a good car. It's gonna get you from point A to point B. He's like, no, dude, it's like, I'm, I'm over it. I'm not, I'm not into it. Maybe I go back the next day, talk to a random person. Hey man, I have a car. It's a 2018-2019 Bugatti Chiron. This is uh, uh, replaced the Bugatti Veyron. It's a $2.5 million car, 1,200 horses. There's only six right now in North America. Shaquille O'Neal has one. And this thing right here is like, I'm selling it. It's a 1000 bucks. Take a look. Sit in it. Let's take it for a spin, dude. Are you, would you be open to buy it? The guy's going to find a way to get to come up with $10,000. Why? Because it's a two, $2.5 million value. You know, he's going to get a loan. He's going to talk to his family. He, he, he'll flip it if he, even if he doesn't want the car. So what we got to do is paint the picture. You're not giving out Hondas. You're giving out freaking Bugattis. Okay? So that's when you get to the test clothes and you say, how does everything sound so far? And they're like, oh, it's pretty good. You didn't paint that picture of the Bugatti. There's something you missed. Okay, the final step, step number five. What is it? You know what it is. Close. Close, man. You take the baby home, take her to bed, and you close the deal. Okay. So that test close doesn't go so well. What do you do? Then you got to create more value. How does everything sound so far? Uh, it's okay. Okay? What do you mean okay? I just showed you I can get you 10, 30 applications. What do I got to do, man, to wow you? Well... I don't know. Maybe like show me some real results. Dude, I'm gonna show you some real results right now. Click. Oh. I to do balance with me, dude. I never get a okay. But it's gonna happen if you're just starting this. I never get a okay, dude. What, go watch. Me, I, I'm not doing fucking sales calls, dude. I'm doing damn near I'm fucking Kevin Hart on the stage. I'm Jim Carrey in his prime. I'm entertaining fucking people. Like I, I bet you can see it. You can imagine what, what kind of fucking i'm on i'm on stage doing doing backflips i got the fucking blowing flyer you know what i mean i'm fucking catching a bullet in my mouth like you get it these people are entertained by me can you can you, can you can you imagine that i can i can definitely imagine that. so that's what do go watch these this guy right here gage is talking to a client yeah i called him live on facebook cold call two thousand dollar retainer same day he signed up right here signed the contract He's been with me almost a month and he loves us. I'm doing a cold call and he's like, dude, I'm going to talk about it. I jump off the demo and then I close him. That's sales, bro. I don't, I don't get that. If, if, to answer your question, dude, you got to build more value. Hey man, you say, okay, man, what would make it great in your eyes? What do I have to show you and let them tell you what it is. And then you show that to them. Okay. So you have to prefer perfect the sales process. Okay. What time is the call tomorrow? Tomorrow it's at 6 p.m. Oh, fuck. Okay. Do we, do, do we schedule for your weekly calls? I don't think so. Oh, no. No, we didn't do that yet because I had, a, okay. The only reason I jumped on with you today is because I wanted to get you 100% prepped. Man, this is real stuff right here, man. I'm actually appreciating it. For no, dog. This is the real shit. Bro, this is the real shit you're going to hear in digital marketing. It's not the fucking Willy Wonka guy. It's not the fucking dude dressed as Batman. It's not that bullshit, dude. I fucking trans, I help clients make money and I fucking get money. Okay, I'm gonna, and, uh, I'm gonna give you the that, that Facebook ad section uh, in, the, in the courses, is that, is that like 100% strategy? You're talking about right here? Um, yeah. I need to add to it, to be honest with you. Okay. It's all strategy, of course. It's all strategy. Yeah. How to create a custom audience, how to fucking create conversions, how to set up your pixel, how to do split tests. How, yeah. But I need to add to it, to be honest with you. I have, I have a second course that I sell to trainers and gym owners. It's like almost twice the size. So you'll, you'll be getting those. Okay. Um, okay. So um, what, what is your schedule today for work? I'm going to be going into work at 2 and I'm coming out at 10. 10 p.m.? Yeah. Okay. This is what I want you to do. I don't want to take up the whole hour because I want to get with you tomorrow. Okay. This is what I need from you. 
I want you to, I know, the communication thing, let's hold on that. That's typically the first thing I talk about. Okay. I want you to watch this. It's long as hell. When, when you're doing security, are you walking? Or are you on a shop? Are you on a golf cart? Are you in a office? What's I'm in, a, I'm in a, a guard shack, so. Who's in there with you? By myself. Nobody's there. So you got fucking plenty of time. I've got plenty of time, man. Okay. Um, do me, do, do this, dude. Step number one, watch this. Okay. The presentation test goes to close. No, my bad. I'm lying. Um, step number one, watch this. Live sales calls. And I want you to watch textbook fact finding presentation follow up and close. Okay. Textbook fact finding? Yep. Actually, I'm lying. Don't watch that number one. Watch that number two. The reason why I want you to watch that number two, because it's so freaking long. I want okay. you to watch the live sales. I want you to watch. I want you to watch. Number one, this is the correct info. Watch the Facebook Live same day close. It's only about. 15 minutes because I don't show the demo because I had to get off. I, I was working with Angel on phone calls. Okay. But you'll see how I make a cold call and then you'll see literally me doing the fact finding and how I do it. And then I come back later with the 2000 hour contract. Okay. I need you to master the fact finding, dude. If you can master the fact. If you can master the fact finding, dude, you'll be fucking signing people up. What I'm, what I'm all gonna give you, when you're done, when you're, when, when, when the month is up, dude, you're gonna be a fucking sales machine. It's not even gonna be funny. You're gonna be scaling your fucking people, dude. It's gonna be sickening. It's gonna be fucking insane. So this is number one. Watch the Facebook Live same day close. Number two, I want you to watch in the same section live sales calls and closes. Watch this as you're on your post, textbook fact finding, presentation, follow up and close. Okay. Okay. Why? Because this gives the whole process. This gives the whole process. I signed up this gym for two G's. He gets kind of nervous at the end and just watch how I just don't give a fuck. And I just keep going into him. Okay. This is only a week old. Okay. This was last week, not even a week old. It's like four days old. Okay. Um, the reason why I want you to watch this because it's going to go over the whole process. Guess what? Introduction, fact finding, presentation, test close, close. The whole fucking process. I want you to pay attention to certain things here. I want you to pay attention to the control I have. Like I, I, I take the dialogue wherever I want to take it. I also want you to pay attention to the understanding I create. Okay, the reason why people sign up with me is not because I have, you know, I'm like a slick back car salesman or I'm a cheesy car salesman. That's not why people sign up with, with me, agency clients. The reason why they sign up with me is because I give them complete, complete understanding that this is going to work. That's why I do it. That's why I give them 1 million percent understanding that my process will work. Understanding. Okay, so as you're doing this, I want you to see how I'm creating understanding. I'm going to use that word a lot. How do you create understanding? How do you create understanding? Uh, by, I'd say in the presentation. Okay. Let me give you the formula for understanding, okay? And this is how you create understanding. Okay. At the top. There's some, there, there, we, we created something called an ARC triangle. In the middle of that triangle is understanding. At the top is something called affinity. Let me stop this share. At the top is something called affinity. Affinity is, by definition, the comfort level you are to be with somebody, like in proximity. So if my wife was here, I'd grab her by her neck. If my daughter was here, I'd grab her like by the shoulder and neck. I'm comfortable with them. We have a lot of affinity. Right. 
uh, affinity is kind of like rapport, how much you have in common with someone almost. Like you and I have a lot of an, an affinity already because right. I know you're genuinely a good dude. Right. And I, I know like you, you could probably see me and be like, yeah, I could fucking look up to Mike like an older brother. You know, he's a real cat. Like we just have a, a good rapport. I think you would agree with that. Definitely. So affinity is kind of like rapport, building a connection, okay? Affinity, it makes sense, affinity. Yep. The more affinity you have with somebody, the more reality you have. That's the second point of the triangle. There's three. So reality is just what it is, reality. This is a white wall. This is a black pen. Right. You're a digital marketer, reality, okay? It's real, it's real. The more reality you have with somebody, the more communication you have with them. That's why I want, you, I want you to watch the communication piece. That's why I really want to, I really want you to watch the communication piece. Okay. From there, the communication, if you raise affinity, you can raise reality. And if you can raise reality, you raise communication. And if you raise all three, you create something in the middle of that triangle. It's called understanding. So let me give you an example. Um, my, I had a neighbor, okay. Young dude, I had a neighbor and, uh, he was a, uh, his final, he was, he was in his final year of law and he was like the class president, smart dude. Yo, Mike, I already have an offer. When I get out this in, in six months, I already have a quarter million dollar offer as a first year law graduate. Dude, that's awesome. You know, he's telling me about his speaking engagements. He's telling me how he's leaving the class. He's telling me about how he like, he's so far more advanced than some of his, other students because he already had his MBA and he already has real time experience. Me, I'm talking about success, entrepreneurship, helping people grow in my business. I see his progress. He sees his progress. We're talking about just fucking crushing it. A lot of infinity. We're, we're, we have a lot in common. We don't talk about bullshit. We talk about success because we have a lot of infinity. He was very real to me. Knocks on my door. Do, 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 do. Hey, Diana, is Mike around? My wife. Do, do, do. Hey, Mike, you want to come over and have a beer? Do, do, do. Hey, Mike, you want to come over and watch the OC fights? He was, my, he had me a fr as a friend on Facebook. He see me across the parking lot. He would come towards me. Hey, what's up brother? How you been, man? Boom. A lot of, I have a cell phone number. When he left, he kept in touch. Reality. He's real. I could see him. I, I, he's, he's visible. He's real. Because he was real, our communication went up. Social media, text, happy birthday. And because we have all that, we have an understanding. I like to be around him. We have understanding of each other. Make sense? Make sense. Yeah. He leaves. He leaves and uh, some other people move in and they, they're not law students or lawyers. They work in retail. First off, there's nothing absolutely wrong with people working retail. Okay. But for me, that doesn't identify with me that much. I'm chasing billions. I'm chasing success. I want to be all I can be. I wear fucking wristbands. that say fuck average. I wear it wristbands. that say entrepreneur. I want to make a change. You know, I don't want to, I'm not, it, maybe I'm the weirdo, but I don't, I don't have a lot of affinity with that. Okay. They lived next to me as equally as long as the first guy. First guy's name was Kia. A lot of affinity with the first guy. The second people, not as much. Guess what? The guy next to me for a fucking year, I didn't even know his name, dude. And maybe that, that maybe that's making me a, as a bad uh, neighbor, but he just wasn't real to me. I didn't see him. He didn't walk up to me in the parking lot. He didn't knock on my door and invite me over to talk about success. He didn't friend request me. We had not a lot to talk about. No infinity. So no reality. I didn't know his birthday. I didn't keep up with him and left. No reality, no communication. No communication, no affinity, no reality, no understanding. So that formula I just gave you, you can apply that to anything. Anything. People, right. You know, like you're attracted to what you generally are. You know, so like, I'm telling you, there's, there's, I'm getting to know you, but I guarantee there's something about me that you can identify with and vice versa. You're right. just a cool young cat that wants festival that has a good heart. Am, am I right? Thank you. So I, I, you good on time? It, yeah, I'm good on time. Uh, my mom's calling me real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. You good, bro? Yeah, sorry, man. Okay, so let me wrap up because I'm not going to hold you for the whole hour. We'll meet up We'll meet up tomorrow. For sure. Watch the live close. Okay. Okay. The Facebook one. Watch the second one. Do you have the contract together? 
I do, yeah. Beautiful. I want you to show. Do you ha- do you have DocuSign? Uh, I do not. I don't use it. I I've want, never used it. I want you to get DocuSign, and you can get five free contracts. So that, okay. That, you know that's uh, five Gs or seventy five hundred, depending on how much you charge. Right. Or even more, maybe ten. Get DocuSign, create an account. It's free. I use it. It's used by big corporations. I, do you know that I had a, uh, an, an, an agreement to work with Conor McGregor? We did his marketing. I heard about that. Gia told me. I did that through fucking DocuSign. Okay? That's awesome, man. Fucking awesome, dude. And I do all this because of sales, bro. Who are you going for, Conor or Khabib? Oh, I'm going for Conor, man. Come on. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. <laughs> Shit. I want to get you guys out here, dude, to the San Diego traffic convention. You guys come function with me. Dude, I'd love to come down there. You're, you're good, I, I know you didn't really know what you are getting into. You're in good hands with me, bro. I'm going to take care of you. Just, just fucking put in the work, and that's all I ask. I'm going to put in my – bro, I, I learned this with fitness. Like, whatever you put in, you get out 100%. That's too. all it is. Did you talk to G about our initial meetings? I did not know. Okay. Okay. Um, do that and watch the communication tonight. And let's jump on tomorrow. So give, okay. me, all, give me all the stuff that you, you're going to knock out today. So I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch the live sales call. Check. Um, the textbook fact finding. Check. Uh, get DocuSign. Check. Um, one more. The other one was. Uh, Rewatch the communication bootcamp. Rewatch communication bootcamp. It's just going to take a little bit of time, dude, but after that, you're going to be fucking good. You already have that one actually recorded. Okay. Because you kind of watched it barely, right? Yeah, I've, I've watched it. Okay. Let's meet tomorrow, dude, because I want to make sure that you're prepared. Okay. What time do you want to meet? You're meeting with them at 6 p.m., is that right? Right. Could we do 3 o'clock your time? That works for me. That's going to be a 30-minute window, Okay. Okay. It's going to be called a demo prep with Ahmed. Okay. And then Ahmed, give me your email player. Email is Ahmed, A-H-M-E-D. Or you can do the one that you actually use already, revenuebirds at gmail.com. Oh, I got the revenue birds, man. So tomorrow, dude. Oh, there's one more thing, bro, before we meet. What's up? Put together the funnel, the voucher funnel. Okay. Put that together. Put that together for my current client or the client that I'm meeting with? The client you're meeting tomorrow. Okay. Okay, because that's what you're gonna use for your presentation. Once you watch my textbook stuff, you'll, you'll, you'll see how I use it. I use the okay. funnel as the presentation. Awesome. I'm showing the funnel, okay? Okay. All right, dude, I don't wanna hold you, man. I'm gonna hold you for, uh, I'm gonna grab you tomorrow. Uh, Every time I'm, I'm doing these, dude, I'm doing these recordings. I'm recycling this content. I want to share this. And I right. want to share it in a different place. I want to put this on YouTube. That's fine. Um, I think there's a lot of value that people can find. All right, yeah. dude. Uh, remember, if you need something, hit me on the DM or call Gage. For sure, man. I'm going to hit you on the DM. And I appreciate all your help, man. Seriously, this is some golden shit right here. Uh, we, th- 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 this is our first meeting that was cut in half. And the reason yeah. why we're cut in half is because we're going to meet tomorrow. Exactly. All right, Batman. I need another thing. Go in the group, man, and share your fucking first 24-hour experience working with your boy. All right, for sure. I got you, man. All right, bro. Good to see you, All man. All right, man. Yeah. Late.